Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be going over how to install TES3, which is the multiplayer modification, I don't know, there's, the the, uh, the dev staff tend to get a bit picky when you call it a mod, <laughs> so, uh, it, it's kind of like a mod of OpenMW, but also at the same time, not really, I think the proper term is it's a fork of OpenMW, but I'm not here to kind of get into semantics, I'm just here to show you how to install it. So you will want to first get uh, TES3 MP, which I will link to the GitHub in the description, and you can download it there if you haven't already. Now all you need is TES3 MP and Morrowind somewhere. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be installing this. Now it doesn't require a lot. You can just extract uh, the TES3 MP content somewhere. And then you can go to openmwwizard.exe, which will be wherever you extracted it. Click Run. Next. Next. Then you want to click Browse and find where you've installed Morrowind. Go into Data Files and select morrowind.esm. I already have a few here, but uh, that's because I've got a few installs on this machine. And before you ask, yes, I do have three CD drives currently installed in my machine. I don't know why I did it. I just thought it would be cool. <laughs> Anyways... So yeah, we are now that this is all installed. Uh, also, this is I'm currently running off the Steam version. So if you're wondering, do you do I need a physical copy? Do I need a Steam copy? What version works? Any version works so long as you have the data files. I am currently running this off the Steam version, but it doesn't actually require the Steam version, just the data files. As long as you have the original Morrowind data files, you're good to go. So now once that's done, you can go to OpenMWLauncher.exe. This will open up this guy right here, and this should work like OpenMW if you're familiar with that. If not, you'll want to uh, follow this. Just go to Data Files and make sure the only ones turned on here are Tribunal and Blood Moon, because a lot of uh, TES3 MP servers will not actually be running uh, mods. There are a few exceptions that run uh, stuff like Tamriel Rebuilt. I know there's a server for that, but uh, for the most part, I know on my server, which is uh, FTC pre-release right now, you will, uh, you won't need anything other than uh, Tribunal and Blood Moon. So then you can hit play, and instead of launching the game in single player, this will launch the serverbrowser.exe, which can be found down here. You don't need to run the launcher; you can just run this guy. So that brings us up, which will bring up a list of different servers. Currently, no one's really playing. It's kind of 6 p.m. People are probably eating. That and the game's not super populated. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, FTC is my server, and if you get a ping of 999 to a server you're running on your local network, that's normal, don't worry about it, you're fine. Anyways, so then essentially all you do is you will, let's say I want to play on House Fargoth. So I will double-click that, and then I will hit connect. But I don't actually want to do that right now because I'm just making this video. And what that'll do is it'll start up the game and it will connect you to that server. Again, you'll want also another thing you want to check is is there a password for the server? Another and one other thing you want to check is the version of the server. Make sure that the version you have downloaded makes it matches the version of the server because we do have quite a few pre-release servers running right now, and the majority of them will not be running the full release 0.5.1. They will be running 0.6 alpha. Unfortunately, there's no official redistribution. I am not permitted to redistribute copies of this, so you will have to wait for the release for this one. However, it should be within the week of me making this video. So, yeah. And that's essentially all you have to do. Once that's all done, you can just go ahead and play the game. You don't really need to worry about anything else. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, folks, uh, enjoy.